respected past presidents, honorable speaker Dr. Thomas Kaiser, invited guests, managing committee members, fellow CMA members, valuable participants, or others. It's gratifying and indeed a great honor to welcome this enthusiastic audience for the third speaker talk of Calicut Management Association. Leaders and experts say that COVID pandemic offers unique opportunity. Ujidamaya Samayatu, Ujidamaya Tirimanaka, Edukuga Edudana, Karma Pradana. The ongoing pandemic has given us a unique opportunity to transform ourselves in all spheres of life, and it needs to be prioritized and escalated through infrastructure, investment, manpower and by undertaking radical reforms. Today, we have with us Dr. Thomas Isaac, former finance minister, government of Kerala, an expert and an authentic speaker to talk about the topic, a person whose knowledge about this is something highly considerable. I just request my past president, advocate James Thomas, to just step in and do a honor. Recognizing the presence of worshipful mayor of Kurikur, I just request my past president, Professor Philip Anthony, to do his part for him. Recognizing the presence of a former MLA, Sri Pradeep Kumar, I just request senior vice president, Mr. Come and do the honors. Dr. So Thomas Isaac will share his perspectives on how to deal with entrepreneurship and management in Kerala transition and will address all your questions. Because of the Mundurti, Adhanim Shingaricha, Ella Nadabadiyuru. And the thought is much value to what he says and what he has to say. His perception, roles, and responses, and the impact assessment of each and every item is valued very high. And that always makes an impression on his audience and is also highly due to his credentials. Sir, your presence brings new happiness and a lot of new inspirations to be the members of CMA. We are grateful to you, sir, for your presence. Friends, but this is made possible mainly because and truly because of our Vice President, Dr. Reena Anil Kumar, who was instrumental in 
connecting us with Dr. Thomas Isaac and bringing him here. Appreciating your efforts, Dr. Reina. So, while we thank you personally for this most generous gesture, it would be best if we can identify and mention suitable projects and programs which CMA can associate with. You would have touched on Abhipraya Rubikaro, Honor Professor, Management Director, Nirmaya Mahal, in the Nipura Park. So, as I speak on behalf of everybody, I wish to say that Calicut Management Association is deeply honored by a gracious presence. And we are grateful to you for accepting our invitation and we look forward to stay connected with you in future too. I end my presentation at this with these words. Thanks so much to each one of you. Thank you. And now we invite Dr. Reena to introduce the speaker. <laughs> Good evening, Manandor. What the developing country needs today is not the leaders who compete in rubbing shoulders with the leaders of developed countries, but leaders who would unite the third world is one of the many recent thought-provoking field of this renowned and honorable gentleman. Born to Mr. T. P. Matthew and Mrs. Sarava Matthew at the historical forts of T. Kodanalur and raised at the Venice of East Alabama. He is known for his name and unique approaches of development, especially for those experienced difficulties in life. His unmatched ability to transcend his in-depth thought process and learning to various nooks and corners of the society makes him a standalone leader. Having completed his postgraduate in, in economics from Calcutta University, his deep interest in this field led him to research and successfully complete his doctorate degree from Jawaharlal Nehru University Delhi for his thesis entitled Class Struggle and Industrial Structure, a study of fire weaving industry in Kerala, 1859 to 1980. Being a research associate, honorary associate, fellow and research fellow at Centre for Development Studies at Rwandan added his vast research experience. A humanitarian and a author par excellence, he authored and co-authored Many books, which include Science for Social Revolution with Dr. Dean Iqbal in 1989, Modernization and Employment, The Fire Industry in Kerala with Dr. Van Steuenberg and A. Nayar, Indo Dutch Studies in Development and Alternatives in 1992, Democracy at Work in an Industry Cooperative, The Story of Dinesh Giri with Richard W. Franke and Carla Raghavan in 1998. Local Democracy and Development, Pippi's Campaign for Decentralized Planning with Richard W. Franke in 2000. 2000. Uh, I'm happy to say that I was fortunate to have published my Lab to Land project on the um, Integrated Mosquito Control Program, as a chapter in this book. Global Crisis and Globalization 2019, Financial Relationships. Central and Kerala in 2010 uh, is being some of them. His writings and works have been very appreciated and accepted in Malayalam as well. Janakiya Sutra Pinde Rastriyam, Kerala Vigasanam Janakashikunula Poratam, Vimogena Samara Pinde Kana Purangal, Maripachaka Lunda, Panipuri Pachakari Vishwana Parangal, Agola Pratisamti, Agola Valkaranam, Sampatika Bandhanam, Kerala, Kerala. ಯಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ರಲ್ in it along with the great leader Yamas. During the implementation of this concept, Jaiti Asutranam in Kerala, he played a pivotal role. As a popular economist who strongly stands for the sustainable development, has shown the country that the government's financial crisis can be averted through efficient resource mobilization without limiting government spending and investment. 
The best example is nothing but the initiative under Kipris, which led the infrastructure development in Kerala at its greatest heights. He imparted the lessons of economic planning to the masses and proved that finance could be applied to the grassroots levels of the society for the social development and well-being. Women empowerment initiatives through Kudukasri, carbon neutral village, hand holding of the hand of upliftment of the transgender are through Amanda. During his educational period, he was actively engaged in social in student politics and raised to a national student leader. Having grown up as a leader of Kerala student movement, he could narrate the history of Kerala's quiet struggle. He became the face of leadership. When, he, when it comes to the several people movements, that be the fight against corruption or the Muttanga struggle, etc., etc., this eminent leader proved his solidarity. Presently, he is a member of Committee of Communist uh, Party of India Marxist since 2008 and the State Secretariat member since 2002. He was also, also the chairman of Special Task Force Coil Industry, Kerala State Planning Board, in 1991, and the Secretary of Academic Committee, International Congress of Kerala State, in 1994, and member of Kerala State Planning Board from 1996 to 1999, and the chairman of the Subcommittee of Panchayat Raj and so on. He was elected as the Kerala State Legislative Assembly for four times, Twice from Arab Club and twice from Alibra. During his tenure as a sorry, during his tenure as a member of Kerala State Planning Board, he was in charge of the People's Plan campaign in Kerala, which was the beginning of a new era in the Kerala development history. In this context, I would, again I would like to acknowledge that I was also a humble team member with the state level campaign in his leadership which in turn inspired me to become a social entrepreneur. He also served as the Finance Minister of Kerala twice from 2006 to 11 and 16 to 21. He presented very unique budgets which are inclusive providing financial support for the development of the people of all strata of the society, especially at the being marginalized. His budgets were with a soul and a distinct perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a proud moment and privilege for Calicut Management Association to have this economist, humanitarian, social scientist, orator, and leader par excellence among us today. Please join me in welcoming the former finance minister of state, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Reena. That is a great introduction. I now invite Dr. P.M. Thomas Isaac to Honorable mm -hmm. President, Mr. Anandamani K, Dr. Veena Anandakumo, C.S. Sujit, Russian Mayor of Kaika, Veena Philip, other distributed just in the audience and dear friends. I shall first step briefly discuss what do I mean by Kerala in transition. What is the transformation that is taking place in the state? And then try to identify the role of new enterprises and management in this transition. And with reference to the Honorable President, I should also follow my prior communication by Alan Montenegro. Thank you very much for the words. There are some comments for you and me and then the end of the Now, transition means moving away from one state of affairs to something new. So what is the nature of Kerala economy? Kerala economy has been characterized by, say, 
greater proportion of population working in the non agricultural sector. But if you look at the composition of Kerala's domestic product GDP, you will find the sectoral share of the secondary sector industry is much lower than India. This, in fact, is a pointer to the factual nature of the economy. The per capita productivity of the secondary sector is lower than that of agriculture. So, the nature of our economy is commercialized uh, agriculture. But industry is broadly limited to the anthro processing of this agricultural products, traditional industries, which are very labor intensive, many crop based and low productivity. A vast service sector and is bringing the modern industry. I don't think this is a very happy state of affairs. But what has made Kerala distribution all over the world is its success in distribution of the product. Whatever the products in Kerala has been more equitably distributed, there has been land reforms which redistributed the most important asset that the land. Just take a profile of Kerala and this side. In the 1950s, there has been all the general movements which have been seen in the Wages would be much higher than national average. And there, then there have been social movements. Starting from the social reform movements at the beginning of the 20th century, which put pressure on the successive governments to socially provide for education, healthcare, and welfare. And this social provisioning of uh, health, education, and welfare, along with the redistribution of income and assets. We have a quality of life to the ordinary citizens of India, Kerala, comparable to, say, kind of middle income countries. As superior to the unfortunate brothers and sisters in the other states. So, if you take, for example, Kerala's SDG score, it would be something like 76, 77, where the international score would be. Around 63 and 64. So I don't, I don't want to spend more time restoring Kerala's situations. But uh, this is, in fact, a very, very important and very predictable achievement. Just think of the last uh, four, five, six generations of Malayans have led a more dignified life than. Rest of the country, they were educated, uh, living in a more democratic atmosphere. The basic needs of their own needs, but basic needs are there, and that's very important. But this raised a certain doubts whether this. Achievements can be maintained, sustained. Those will be our time development economics to remove uh, the Kuznets curve, the Kuznets hypothesis, which simply says that the inequalities will widen in the face, initial basis of development, to reach us a peak where thereafter. Further growth would be more and more trickle down so that inequalities would equalize. Yes. And this is the celebrated process hypothesis. 
sanctified by the whole Western country experiences. But here was a country, here was a state through social move for social political movement seemed to be and from the start of the development process itself and redistributive. And therefore, many hypothesize that there would be a trend of between equity and growth, it will suffer the growth will suffer. And uh, this prediction seems to be really true. Um, our growth till 19, end of 1980s was below the national average. Our per capita income was uh, 25, 30 percent below the national average. And you have the whole 1970s, uh, mid 70s to mid 80s, well, simply the economy is stagnant and we zero. So the whole predictions uh, seem to be coming through. Now, Kuzinets, <laughs> Kurtz was from Kerala, trying to redistribute and so on. But then something happened. You see, our growth has been since the 1980s, late 1980s, a bit higher than the national average. So much so today, Kerala's per capita income is about 57 percent above the national average. Your growth rate accelerated from the end of 1980s of growth has been above the national And uh, everything, the per capita consumption today, Kerala is uh, secondary to Bangalore. Uh, there was a time when uh, people used to wonder how this Kerala is managed. Whenever new pictures are made to place, you know, we um, saw so we wish we not taking enough food. And this was a part of my sample, one of my process when talking this time. Building up the food balance sheet of Kerala and trying to prove no, 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 you should take all the jackfruit and mango food and so on. And in the Hofstede Gardens of Kerala, people eat better than so on. But now you prepare a food basket is stocked in terms so of a couple years ago is gone. And instead of costly carbohydrates and carbs, now instead of sardines of the past, you're taking more protein from milk and uh, animal protein. You consume of consumer durables in the biggest market. And something like this. And savings also. Savings also is really substantial. Kerala's uh, per capita in the is much above the national average. And if you take a household income, household uh, investment, assets, rural households, those are back days, gives a rich Kerala survey on that. Uh, Kerala is secondary to factor. So Kerala has been transformed. Um, what happened in between? The um, trigger was the. <coughs> Migration first to uh, other states in India, Gulf countries. Now you may say that it looks like manner here uh, is your sale because of an accident. Uh, I would say because of the investment you made in human resources. <laughs> uh, in Canada, people are educated, even the skilled development. Uh, carpenter to know how to speak uh, some English, write in English, and that enabled you to use the, exploit the opportunities of job in the Gulf countries. When and now, people are moving to Western countries. The remittance in flow increase, English to around 30% of the GSDP, and uh, that was a English expenditure and growth of the economy. So, then it did have a transition. The guy is after doing very well, slowly one will change in that. What is the meaning of transition? Is it really being innocent? This growth is. See, a lot of the entire Talamur of Preston, you know, 
ഇതെല്ലാ കുട്ടികളും സ്കൂളിൽ പോകുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പൊ സ്കൂളിൽ എല്ലാരും പോയി തുടങ്ങിയപ്പോ ഒരു കുട്ടിയെ ഉള്ളു വീട്ടില് എന്തെങ്കിലും വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം കിട്ടിയാൽ പോലും നല്ല വിദ്യാഭ്യാസം നടക്കാവ് സ്കൂളില് സൗകര്യങ്ങള് എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണം ആസ്പിരേഷൻ ലെവൽസ് കേരളം ഇന്നിപ്പോ നമ്മള് എഴുപത്താറ് വരെ ജീവിച്ചിരിക്കും കേരള സംസ്ഥാനം ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്ന നാൽപ്പത്തി ഏഴും വയസ്സും ജോബ് <laughs> കേരള ഈ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഇത്രയും കൂടുതലാണെന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ എന്താ കാര്യം എന്ന് പറയാം കേരള ഇസ് എ വെരി പോപ്പുലർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ജൻസിറ്റി ഓഫ് പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഇസ് ഹൈ അങ്ങനെ ഡെൻസ് പോപ്പുലേഷനോടത്ത് സർപ്ലസ് ലേബർ ഉണ്ടാവും അവരെ അക്കോമഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന അഗ്രികൾച്ചറിലാണ് പക്ഷെ കേരളത്തെ പറ്റില്ല കാരണം കേരളത്തിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ഗ്രാമീണ കൈ തൊഴിലുകളിലും പരമ്പരാഗത വ്യവസായങ്ങളിലും ശരിക്ക് കയറിൽ നിന്ന് അഞ്ച് ലക്ഷം പേര് പണിയെടുത്തിരുന്നു നാല് ലക്ഷം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അഞ്ചും നാലും ലക്ഷത്തിലാണ് കാർത്തിക പണിയെടുത്തിരുന്നത് ഞാൻ കണ്ടു കൂട്ടിക്കാണിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഒരു നിങ്ങള് അന്നത്തെ ചട്ടങ്ങളൊക്കെ പിന്നെ ബാക്കിയുള്ള നാല് ലക്ഷം പേര് മൂന്ന് ലക്ഷം പേര് അവിടെ അവധിയുള്ള പണിയുള്ള ഇങ്ങനെ പണി വിതരണം ചെയ്യാൻ ഒരുപാട് സംവിധാനങ്ങളുണ്ട് ഇപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ ഇവിടെ കയറി കൈപ്പിരിയാണ് ബേപ്പൂരിൽ ഒരുപാട് ാണ് വേറെ എന്തെങ്കിലും പിരിക്കാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് അതൊരു സാഹചര്യമാണ് അപ്പൊ ഓരോ പ്രദേശത്തും ഓരോ തരത്തിലുള്ള കയറ് അതെ പിരിച്ചു എന്തിനത് ഉള്ള പണി പിരുമ്പക്കാരാണ് അഞ്ചുകാർക്ക് ഡിമാൻഡ് വർഷത്തിൽ ഒരു ആറുമാസം മൂന്ന് മാസം നാല് മാസത്തെ ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ അത് പിരിക്കുള്ളൂ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വലിയ തറവാടികളായിട്ട് പിരിക്കും എല്ലാ കാര്യം അവിടെ പിരിക്കും അല്ലെ എല്ലാ പഠിച്ചും ഉദ്ദേശിക്കാത്ത പിരിക്കാനില്ല ഇതാണ് മോറൽ എക്കോണമി സൊസൈറ്റി മോറൽ എക്കോണമി എന്റെ റാഷണാലിറ്റി ചോദിക്കരുത് ഇന്നത്തെ റാഷണാലിറ്റി വെച്ച് നോക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യുക മീൻ പിടിച്ചുണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു പിടി വിധവയെടുക്കും ഒരു പിടി കാലൊഴിയാ താഴ്ചും ഒരു പിടി പള്ളിയിൽ കൊണ്ടുപോകും എന്ന പിള്ളേര് പഠിച്ചവരും മാറി മോറലക്കോണമിയല്ല അവര് വിദ്യാഭ്യാസ യോഗ്യതയ്ക്ക് അനുസരിച്ചുള്ള തൊഴിലുണ്ട് അവർക്ക് പഴയ തൊഴിലും പറ്റില്ല 
that traditional model economy has fallen apart. So you have a huge unemployment, three times an unemployment. Acts three years ago, we can't even tell you. We should not even take the burden of the idea of it to move. Because three years we can't even tell you what that thing is. I have no question. Get the jelly going on the cross. But we will see it then. We don't know. Then for the SPA transformation bank scheme. That is left political, I have a person left political. We shall focus on it. It doesn't matter. Before any development in the Kinney, either I don't know if you will be a sound of your personality. Okay, it's a major challenge to my politics. Why? I'm talking to Adi and you want to go into the video. EM was soon. Our doctor has over there. He was going to do a job that was going to do a job. Doctor Isaac and the new company's career, I remember the Kamara in this particular. He gave an education, he got high wages, he won land. Up from the number of companies, Kamara. He went up from two now. He said, He was going to be the person. I'm going to. After you have to tell you, see, so don't the way of history. That's the telegram, that's the political sense. So Kerala has to make a transition. A transition which, which will accommodate the justice, which will preserve somebody that shame and the entangle has somebody taken up. He democratic Kamaga Shangal carrying like a subject in the transition game of the Patulu and that point. Actually, the Kamaya and the Kana on the thing with the socially so sound in India, Kaparanil, he entered more the animal spirits and Chaminian names were the names, not of animal spirits. I will get to the book. That's one problem. Secondly, in Sarkari, he came up with a very clear point of the very kind of one. So, Kerala had been under investing in infrastructure. He put a lot of capital of the land and a park here in Kerala and decided as an investment. So, Nanda Rolla and the Tarak would have found. So, Kerala is very backward in the infrastructure. We are going to be transitional. We are going to be transitional. We are going to be transitional. We are going to be solution. That solution to me is in Kerala. I know some money in the budget. So you have a financial institution which will undertake investment in the infrastructure, but now it will fully comply with the uh, FRBA Act. CAD I don't look up for that They have to be perfectly legal. <laughs> Nobody can. <laughs> perfectly legal. See, in the Sarkarial, what they do is, a contractor is a contractor, 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 a contractor is a 
ഇരുപത് വർഷത്തെ പലിശയെല്ലാം കണക്കുകൂട്ടി അതിന് അടിസ്ഥാനത്തില വായ്പ എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നവർക്കെ ൂറ് ഒരു മണിക്കൂറൊക്കെ എടുത്ത് പവോട് പാകം കെട്ടണം വിളിച്ചു പറയുമ്പോ ൂസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ <laughs> They have an elaborate asset liability matching program. Elaborate uh, software. Every data information on TIFP is spread in the way. Uh, one of the assets in the way. Asset in the way. Sarkar would have done that. How do you ask Sarkar to do that? Tender. ൂടുന്നു അത് ഓരോ വർഷവും എത്ര വെച്ച് സർക്കാർ കൊടുക്കും ദൂരം എന്ന് കാണിക്കുന്നത് വായ്പ എടുത്ത് കൊടുക്കണം അപ്പൊ ഇതങ്ങ് വരച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ that the liability curve will remain below the asset comes correctly all of us that we have that on our hand the perfect asset is that you will not have a world back to the key only thing is that on the slide you are bypassing the constitutional slide you can see here and you will see a character that you can see here they have to take a part of it ചോദ്യമാണ് <laughs> 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 സംശയപ്പെട്ടാണ് 
Now you say, I should have the city. All right, what do you require for that? Think of it, there must be a transmission line to uh, bring the current from the electricity from outside. And we need to do the other one. 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 That's very innovative engineers. They have said, equally, you know, 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 you ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷണൽ <laughs> For example, capital city region development program. Okay, we have got a four-lane road, which can be extended to six-lane road. Starting from Virginia Harbor, going all around to the foothills of uh, Western Ghats, the southern Kerala. And the quality of the product will be better, naturally. Now, the Virginia Harbor model is like a model, like a financial model. How do we do what we say in company? Government is willing to buy it. Again, when you move the oil system, you can give it at the market price. Two, you know the government is not at the market price. You can buy it and you can develop it and you can take your risk for that. You are a skill man and they are a skill man. You can buy it at the market price. You can buy it at the market price. You can buy it at the market price. So you don't need money to finance it. It's a, it's a kind of land hold model. So you acquire land. Here comes the area of the EU. Or the sixth day, potentially sixth day. And the upper thing to do it in the middle of the job, the upper thing to do it in the middle of the job, you develop it to a modern industrial estate, township, Northern city and so on and so forth. And the, um, then the industrial is for carbon industry. Then you need to have very innovative financial models to do this. It is in the way in the Kakapal Rapadilla that the Travai Varund, the Chalund, the Vakitri, the Kalamurabadiya. The thing is that you have to have a proactive role to raise the sources and interest. And so you are. Make one big step forward. Get at the infrastructure deficit in it and this year. And I'm promising you that another three years, four years will be different. That the building will be just explaining of this road itself is going to make such a difference. This will also come to that data. When 2009 world crisis came, I mean, I'm there to the for you money with the package of a character. At least in some sort of the money with the package, again, for capitalization, 
സംസ്ഥാനത്തിന്റെ ബഡ്ജറ്റ് പ്ലാനിലാണ് പുതിയ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്ലാനും എല്ലാം വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് പിന്നെ മാന്യ വിരുദ്ധ പാർട്ടി പണം ഇടുന്നതാണ് സോ ഞാനൊരു പുസ്തകം എഴുതുന്നു അതാണ് വായിച്ച ആഗോള പ്രതിസന്ധിയും ആഗോള പുതിയും പുസ്തകം എഴുതും ഇതാക്കുമ്പോ തന്നെ ഞാൻ കൈരളിയിലെ എല്ലാ ദിവസവും അഞ്ചു മിനിറ്റ് അന്ന് മാന്യത്തെ കുറിച്ചൊക്കെ ഇന്നലെ എന്ത് പണം ടെൻഷൻ ഉണ്ടാക്കാനും എവിടെയൊക്കെ പ്രഭാഷണത്തിൽ അവിടെയൊക്കെ എന്റെ ബഡ്ജറ്റ് പ്രസംഗത്തിൽ ഞാൻ അയ്യായിരം കോടി പ്രഖ്യാപിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ ആരൊക്കെ ഞാൻ എന്തെങ്കിലും പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് സോ വി ഡിഡ് സംതിങ് അൺയൂഷൽ ഫോർ എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് അതാണ് മൂവായിരം കോടി എടുത്തും മലബാർ ബാങ്കിന്റെ റിപ്പോർട്ടില് ഒരു ബോക്സ് ആയിട്ട് കേരള കേരളത്തിന്റെ സ്റ്റിമുലസ് പാക്കേജ് അപ്പഴത്തെ <laughs> 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 പ്രഖ്യാപിച്ചു അങ്ങനെ ഇത് മാത്രമല്ല വേറെ പല രീതിയിലേക്ക് ഫാക്ടറിനെ നല്ല റോഡ് കാര്യങ്ങൾ You have to transform the economy to a knowledge of power. Know the economy is a problem. On the merit of love, the science, the machine, the technology, the technology, the knowledge, the technology, the technology, the technology, the technology, the technology. നിങ്ങളുടെ ഓർമ്മയൊന്നുമല്ല നമ്മുടെ തലമുറകളുടെ ഓർമ്മയിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും മാറ്റം വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് കൃഷി എന്ന രീതിയിൽ 
corporate trading in Spitting Hinama. And Scott does a management association in your book. I say, that Now, in the how are you thinking of setting up certain social enterprises? Uh, 
But you are absolutely right. That uh, government has not paid sufficient attention to the importance of appropriate management. Only a year's paper. Yeah. Uh, if you take the, the uh, public sector equities, and the problem is that the inappropriate management. Who knows the you? And for various reasons. Then you have a uh, IS person who comes to the he can manage the show. They are appreciators, yes. they are not managers. That's such a problem. That's such a So that's why I said I chose this topic. That problem is very problem. The salary is very important. Government got that's right. In government services is difficult to get that salary. But in a public sector sector, then competitive is something that for example, why has KIFP succeeded like that? We don't take anybody from wealth. Auto freedom has been given to the poverty before. And the best talents are taken from my research. And therefore they created a, a, an institution uh, which has won the admiration of all institutional level. They come and they we show them this four hour software program, how it is done. It's a paperless software. That's doing magic, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. So things are changing. Hmm? Otherwise, you have criticism, my axiom. Even corporation can consider. I am is very near. <laughs> sir, am I going to say something? Same thing. You are teaching it, I just resigned. Sir, we have a well set up body for the informed infrastructure that's like a gift here in Kerala. We have a set up a well this model. Do any other states in India? How similar body for the in, uh, uh, infrastructure development like KFP, though there is some uh, media expression nowadays. Uh, and uh, do uh, what's your concerning very whether any other states is following the KFP model? All states uh, have almost all states have such financial institutions, and you take somebody of two thousand crores. Sense. But nobody had the audacity of <laughs> thinking something like this. It is similar to me. Yeah, they are it's just securitizing the future income. Government has assured to a legislation an annual income to them, increasing annual income. And therefore, what they are doing is what if we do is just securitizing it. Now, some new development that has happened is under this government, they have learned, has securitized this uh, uh, bureaucratic corporation, their bureaucratic corporation, uh, to raise uh, 21,000 crores. So, I think many will move, and if their government will be very alarmed, as I would be very much in favor of everybody standing on the gate. So, by the time they will come, Kerala must finish the deal. So, <laughs> so that's a challenge. But I think everybody is catching up on that. See, the problem with other states is they have internalized this neoliberal theory so much, they don't want to spend. I will give you one example. On the eve of COVID, the state governments had. 1.5 lakh crores of rupees invested in government of India 14 days, days which earns 5% interest. This money has been borrowed at 9%, 8%. Why don't they spend? See, Chidambaram in 2009 in the parliament, not 2006 in the parliament, was taunting the opposition. Your state governments ask them to spend. They have 50,000 crores invested in my securities. I don't want this. So the opposition didn't know what to say. 
So they were right saying, no, 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 they are waiting for March to spend. So Chidambar was saying, uh, she said that. No, no, that's my problem. They won't spend in March also, last month they had to spend. Then I wrote a paper. So I spent the two pages of my budget speech replying to this. Then I, in anger, I wrote one paper. Why do the states not spend? A critic of FRBM Act. This FRBM Act says your revenue deficit has to be zero. Kerala is the only state that has refused, saying that I can't make it zero. My schools have to run, the hospitals to run, they cannot never be zero. But they have totally internalized. That she said, no money that is borrowed can be spent on revenue expenditure. So they borrow money, which was permitted, and then they don't have capital expenditure on the scale. But then they don't spend on revenue. Instead, they keep the money in the treasury. If you have surplus in the treasury, the Reserve Bank of India will take it away and put it in government of India second. More than a day, it goes to government. Whenever you want, you can take it back. It is a 14 day security. So that was 50,000. By COVID time, it can increase to 1.5 lakh crores. Then I was thinking, really, that under COVID, so much pressure, there is no money, and so, so much requirement, people are hungry, and there are no hospital facilities, that this 1.5 lakh crores will disappear. Yesterday, after cajoling and sort of putting sort of costume talks, I got from the Reserve Bank. They have not published it there. This 2.5 lakh Forms of money COVID time was government of India 14 days second. Cunning. Candle be anything more obscene and perverse than this. In a time of COVID state governments are keeping this much money. That's because of borrowed money. And if we in COVID times uh, the capital expenditure is very difficult, nobody's working anything. So this money borrowed at eight percent, they put it into four percent, five percent government of India security. They cannot bring themselves to think that the silly rule yeah, <laughs> you spend the money. There is nothing in the constitution to do anything against you, but they don't spend. That's what I said. They have internalized this so much, and then what did they do? Because if they borrow. They will have to put in government of India securities. You are in fact financing government of India at a lesser rate of interest. So they stop to vote. The fiscal deficit is average uh, for the 2010s is 2.49. What kind of development state is it? So this is really, really, really sad to see the kind of situation. I've asked uh, Bihar research from this city, so why do we just spend it? Uh, it's, look, it's not like Kerala, where you are know, running hospital and the schools, it's so difficult to get teachers and so on. So I just said, then you give every agriculture worker a thousand rupees each. <laughs> They, they were so incredulous. <laughs> you know, what is this man saying? <laughs> yeah, just give it. The poor fellows are eating and they let them have some food, let them buy, they will spend, and it might even roll it out. This is what, you know, once you internalize this logic, I don't have that logic. Therefore, I am, whenever people are saying, you know, taking Kerala to a uh, dead trap, this, etc. I don't bother because once you are in that framework, then that's whole logic. Once you are outside the framework, I will gladly say I'm a candidate. I don't say about masks. <laughs> I think mask doesn't say anything about running government. So <laughs> it does about the larger uh, answers. I mean, government, I'm a candidate. So 
So I have for me no problem, but this fellows will become new liberals. And the two liberals spend money. Terrible. That's the same. That's where Kerala is different. But then you have nobody is there to defend the difference. Somebody asked you. And now I am very yesterday there was a big uh, NKC chairing. That's just the lead form of finance in Kerala and uh, Bihar finance system. I took the ball. What are these people? <laughs> and NK Singh, the chairman, wouldn't give me time. He doesn't want. He's a, he's a different fellow. He's ideologically motivated. <laughs> And we have a very strong resource base of the transition capital formation. How can we get an view of that? See, as the growth rate becomes, it gathers more sources. If you are, then your resource can you disappear or see. I don't appreciate. Kerala has to come down to zero and so on. Now, I'll show you that. Present this debt, they have to repay to take another debt. But you have to service your interest. That's all. And the debt burden, you know, when your economy grows, the debt burden as a ratio to your economy comes down. The answer to debt is faster growth. If you stop growing, it's a debt burden. Then you are in trouble. As long as you use the money borrowed on infrastructure, it's actually growth, then there is no problem. That's my other macroeconomic reasons given by government of India is if the states borrow like this, like Kerala is doing, what I tell them is nobody is borrowing, nobody works. <laughs> Only we are doing somebody to worry about it. But they are afraid if the state more and more, there will be less, so much less money for private sector. And the rate of interest will rise. That's one. Secondly, big deficit will be that rate of interest will rise. Rate of interest going up, they are afraid, will drive away the foreign investment. Uh, you know, it will raise the inflation, and inflation will drive away foreign. So that is their macroeconomic. Uh, uh, but I have two students of mine. One is Pinaki Chakravarti, he's the director of the uh, Institute of Public Finance and Policy, and his wife, Rekha Chakravarti. Both have shown there is absolutely no correlation between uh, rate of interest and uh, public deficit. And yeah, Nippa again, your surplus money. Surplus money, supply directly, reserve bank, liquidity, yeah, salary rates, so it's certainly reduce the liquidity. Chukma word. Airlines should vigorously go ahead with investment, but I tell you, not revenue expenditure. Other control I am not for increasing revenue expenditure. We'll say investment in human resources is the wrong way. I think we cannot go on increasing expenditure in fully uh, that so on so on. Then you are in trouble. But the borrow invest and let your economy become. And I said to everyone who now go, you have more police services and that and so Even welfare expenditure, etc. That's a limit. See, you are saying Nordic countries are our model. Fine. But Nordic countries will really tax the differential in the real. 40 percent, 50 percent, so, we have to understand this macroeconomics when you are thinking of welfare expenditure. But 
more on invest in the capital expenditure your economy will grow faster that will give more revenue and that revenue can be used for that Sir, you are saying the significance of the infrastructure development. This KRA problem, now there are too much on it, is the part of the infrastructure development. It is so why we are hearing this much of noise and issues. Uh, I was saying the petrol price. You know, it is affecting <laughs> the entire part of the problem <laughs> and not the life. And why it is taken on this existing? To reduce some relief to the people by reducing the tax. <laughs> okay. the simply, the simple reason is Kerala government did not raise any tax on the infant radiation. Reduced by nearly 2% my last year. So, Kerala government has not raised any tax. The central government which raised the tax at what percentage on diesel nine times the rate, nine times petrol three and a half times, as in the history of taxation, ever anywhere in the world, anybody dare to raise tax at this level? They could do that because the kind of Food for growth prices were going up, therefore they could raise the tax, prices for this. Only benefits they are not passing on to people. Now, crude oil prices are rising. They should reduce. Now they are refusing. I'm telling that the state government. That's not fair. It's all right. They didn't allow pass on the production of crude oil prices to people. But now the crude oil price is rising, they should re reduce the tax. And now once they have hit the previous level, then if still further it has to be reduced, we can take them such a consistent discuss and decide. But it is put the smart up. Other what I can do. ഇപ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് <laughs> 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 ഈ വായ്പ എന്ന ആളുകളെ നമ്മുടെ പാലക്ഷിക്കുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഈ പാല് തരണം എങ്ങനെ വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പാല് പഠിച്ചിട്ടാണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഏജൻസീസ് വരും ഈ അവിടെ പെൻഷൻ ഫണ്ട് വരും അവർ വരുന്നു അവർ ചർച്ച ചെയ്യുന്നു ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് നമ്മളെ നടത്താറ പറയുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമ്മളിത് കൂട്ടിയിട്ട് ഇത് കൂടിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാലും അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ബഹളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടും രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറ് പതിനേഴിന് ശേഷം Revenue deficiting for the new, it never. Revenue deficiting for the fiscal deficiting for the new. And fiscal deficiting for the Europe, the three are key. And you know, you go over to the new country. But you know, it's not going to be a new country. It's not going to be a new country. It's not going to be a new country. It's not going to be a standard country. It's not going to be a new country. It's not going to be a new country. It's not going to be a new country. At the end of the day, ഞാനിപ്പോഴും 
രണ്ട് കമ്പോസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് രാസവളം കുറയ്ക്കാൻ പറ്റും നോട്ട് ഫോർ ജൈവം എല്ലാം ജൈവം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ജൈവം ഇഷ്ടമാണെങ്കിൽ ജൈവം നിങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കി എത്തുമ്പോ ഞങ്ങൾ കരിയും കൊടുക്കും ബാധ്യത വേണോ പക്ഷെ ആവശ്യം എങ്ങനെ ഈ ഓർഗാനിക് കമ്പോസ്റ്റ് ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ രാസവള ഉപയോഗം കൂടുതൽ രാസവളം എന്താണ് വലിയ ഹൈലി കൊടുപ്പിക്കണം കാർബൺ മൂന്ന് കമ്പോസ്റ്റ് കാർബൺ ഫിക്സിംഗ് ഈ സോയിൽ തന്നെ കാർബൺ വലിക്കുന്നതിലേക്ക് സഹായിക്കും സോ ഐ വുഡ് സേം കോർപ്പറേഷൻ ഇപ്പോ എടുത്തിട്ട് തീരുമാനം അക്ഷരിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുക ഫോർ എവറി സെക്ടർ എൻറ്റയർ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് ഈ ശുചിത്വ പരിപാടി കേരളത്തിലെ ഏറ്റവും എല്ലാത്തോടെ അതുപോലെ അധ്യാപകരും ഇതുപോലെ പല കാര്യങ്ങളിലും നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഈ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ലൈറ്റ് മുഴുവൻ എൽ ഇ ഡി ലാബ് ആക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ അതിനുള്ള സേവിങ് മതി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടുത്തെ പണം കിട്ടാനായിട്ട് എത്ര പേർക്കും ഇലക്ട്രിസിറ്റി ബോർഡിന് ഞാൻ പട്ടിണി പ്രതിഷ്ഠിത പണം തരാം നിങ്ങള് ഈ സോളാർ ലാബ് എല്ലാം പുറത്തോട്ടും വെച്ചിട്ട് മാറ്റി കാരണം പീക്ക് ടൈമിൽ മേടിക്കുന്ന പുറക്കാം അത് വലിയ ലാഭകരവും എൽ ഇ ഡി ലാബ് നാട്ടിലുള്ള മുഴുവനും ഫിലിമൻ ലാബും എടുത്ത് കളഞ്ഞു എന്തായാലും പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഇങ്ങനെ ബിജിമിൻ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് നട്ടില്ല അതിൽ പെട്ടെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ട്രീ പ്ലാന്റിംഗ് അതിന് എന്റെ പ്രൊപ്പോസൽ എന്താന്ന് പറയാം നട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാലേ ഈ തലം അവർക്ക് നടന്നവർക്ക് കിട്ടൂല നടന്ന തലമുറക്ക് കിട്ടൂല ഒന്നും ഈ അടുത്ത തലമുറക്ക് നേഷം കിട്ടൂല നമ്മളൊക്കെ മക്കളോടൊക്കെ സ്നേഹം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും ഒന്നോ രണ്ടോ മരുമക്കള ആയിരക്കണക്കിന് മരുന്ന് കണ്ടിട്ട് നമുക്കൊന്നും ഇല്ലാതിരിക്കാൻ പറ്റും നിങ്ങളൊരു മരം നട്ടാൽ നിങ്ങളത് അതിന്റെ എന്താ ജിയോ ടാഗ് ഡോക്യുമെന്റ് ചെയ്യും ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന മൂന്ന് വർഷം കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു മരത്തിന്റെ അമ്പത് രൂപ മരം വെട്ടുമ്പോ പഴച്ചാൽ മക്കളെ ആശുപത്രി അപ്പൊ അക്കന്മാരെന്താണ് ഈ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ഫണ്ടൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാക്കണല്ലേ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ഇത് എന്റെ മൊക്കെ കൊടുക്കട്ടെ തിരിച്ചു പോണം ബാങ്കിലെ റെക്കോർഡ് മരം വെട്ടുമ്പോ ജിയോ ടാങ്ക് മരമാണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് കൃത്യമായിട്ട് മോണിറ്റർ ചെയ്യാം ഏതെങ്കിലും മരം തോന്നാൽ അപ്പൊപ്പിക്കാം സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇതാണ് വയനാട് ചെയ്യാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചു കൊണ്ടിരിക്കണേ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാ വയനാട് ചെയ്യണേ വയനാട്ടിൽ ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ നാല്പത് ശതമാനം ട്രീ കവർ ഉണ്ട് ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ലാൻഡ് ആണ് അവിടെ ഒരു വ്യവസായവും ഇല്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് നെറ്റ് മിഷൻ സീറോ ആകാം ഒരു നില കോടി മരം നടത്തേ ഒരു കോടി അറുപത് ലക്ഷം മരം ഒക്കെ അവിടെ കൂട്ടിയിട്ട് പിന്നെ അവിടെ ഉള്ള എല്ലാ എനർജി ഓഡിറ്റ് നടത്തി പമ്പും കാര്യവും ഒക്കെ അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ പല കാര്യങ്ങളും ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് അതൊക്കെ ചെയ്യാം ഇങ്ങനെ കാർബൺ ന്യൂട്രലാക്കിയുള്ള ഗുണം എന്താന്ന് അറിയാം നമുക്ക് കാപ്പി പിട എന്ത് വിലയുടെ വാല്യൂഡിഷൻ അറ്റത്തും നമ്മുടെ വാല്യൂ ചെയ്യാടിയില്ല പത്തിലൊന്ന് പതിനഞ്ചിലൊന്ന് വില കിട്ടും 
ഇത് ഒരു സ്റ്റെപ്പ് കൂട്ടി പത്തിൽ രണ്ട് വില നമുക്ക് കിട്ടി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇൻകട്ടബിൾ ആണ് അത് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് വേണം ഇവിടെ മേടിക്കാൻ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല സാധനം അങ്ങനത്തെ വലിയൊരു മാർക്കറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് മാക്കാര് സ്വമേധയെല്ലാം കണ്ടിട്ട് പേടിച്ചിട്ടേ ഇങ്ങനെ കാർബൺ നോട്ടാക്കി ഒരു ജില്ലയിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്ന സാധനം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇരിക്കട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ കാപ്പി കുടിക്കും ആ കാപ്പി കുടി കുടിക്കാം ഒരു സംശയിക്കാൻ കാര്യത്തിലില്ല ഈ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ചേഞ്ചിന്റെ ഗ്രീൻസും കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഇല്ലേ അത് കൊണ്ടുവരുന്ന അവര് ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ പോസ്റ്റർക്കാര് നോക്കിയിട്ട് ചെയ്തു തുടങ്ങിയത് അവര് ഇറങ്ങണതിന് മുമ്പ് ഇത് വെക്കണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് മനുഷ്യന്മാർക്കും മനസ്സിലാവില്ല അപ്പൊ ഇത് നോക്കൂ ഇത് ജിമ്മിന്റെ നിങ്ങൾ മരം നട്ടതുകൊണ്ട് നേട്ടം ഉണ്ടാവും അപ്പൊ ഈ അമേരിക്കായിട്ടുള്ള തർക്കമൊക്കെ തുടങ്ങിയതും great thoughts talk has gone into very diverse sections this can be go on but unfortunately i have to so have it that backing each one of the audience specifically worshipful mayor sridhari kumar and mr suresh babu everybody for everybody yeah yeah this is one of the longest sessions we had on yeah. yeah. Nobody knew it has to be made for me because everything was similar to your class. Thanks a lot for each one of you. The longest class CMA has had been, uh, you could see there was no, not even one movement in the audience. Everybody just went to plan what only. So as a token of appreciation of our CMA, we just wish to hand over a small moment with you. So, I now invite my uh, Honorable Hon- Hon- Secretary Srinath to host you for the word of thanks. Good evening. I want to do it today. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. താമസിക്കുന്ന സ്ഥലത്ത് തന്നെ പാർട്ടി പാർട്ടി ഓഫീസിൽ തന്നെ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു താമസം അതെ അങ്ങനെയാണ് അദ്ദേഹം താമസ യാത്ര ലളിതമായിട്ട് ജീവിതമായിരിക്കുകയും അതേസമയം ഇത്രയും ബഹത്തായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എന്താ പറയാ നമ്മളെ നമ്മളെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം തേടിപ്പെടുത്തുന്ന ഒരു സംഭവമാണ് ഇത്രയും അധികം ഫിനാൻസ് ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യാൻ അദ്ദേഹം ചിരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇത്രയും വളരെ സ്മൂത്ത് ആയിട്ട് ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ തോട്ട് പ്രോസസ് വളരെ റൂട്ട് ലെവലായിരുന്നു ആൾക്കാരുടെ ഇടയിൽ സാധാരണ ജനങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിൽ ഇടകി ചേർന്നിട്ടുള്ള തോട്ട് പ്രോസസ് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം മറ്റൊരു അറ്റം കാണുന്നത് ലോകോത്തരമായിട്ടായിരുന്നു ഈവൻ ഞാൻ കേട്ടത് ജി എസ് ടി പോലെ ജി എസ് ടി കൗൺസിലൊക്കെ തന്നെ ഒരു ദർശിക്കുന്ന സംസ്ഥാനം തന്നെയാണ് അദ്ദേഹം ഓരോ കാര്യത്തിലും ഇടപെടി അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെതായുള്ള തോട്ട് പ്രോസസ്സുകൾ ഇന്ത്യ ഒട്ടും അംഗീകരിക്കുന്ന ലെവലിലാണ് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ ഓരോ പ്രോസസ്സുകളും തോട്ട് പ്രോസസ്സുകളൊക്കെ തന്നെ തന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് അപ്പം കാലിക്കറ്റ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് അസോസിയേഷനിൽ അദ്ദേഹം വന്ന് തന്നിട്ടുള്ള ഈ നമുക്ക് ഈ ടോപ്പിക് വളരെയധികം അദ്ദേഹം പറയുന്ന ഒരു ട്രാൻസിഷൻ നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും എക്സ്പെക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ സ്പെഷ്യലി യങ് ജനറേഷൻ വന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഒരു യൂട്യൂബ് ജനറേഷൻ വന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ടെക്നോളജി അഡോപ്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള അപ്പൊ ആ ടെക്നോളജിയിലൂടെ നോളജ് ഇക്കോമി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് എല്ലാ നോളജുകളും എക്വയർ ചെയ്യാൻ വളരെ ഈസി ആയിട്ട് ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ചെറിയ കുട്ടികൾ പോലും നമ്മളെ ഇപ്പം പറയുന്ന പല കാര്യങ്ങളും വളരെ വ്യക്തമായിട്ടുള്ള ധാരണയുള്ള ഒരു പുതിയ ജനറേഷൻ ആണ് നമുക്ക് ഒരു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ട്രാൻസിഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തോട്ട് പ്രോസസ്സുകൾ 
മാനേജ്മെന്റ് അസോസിയേഷൻ ആൾക്കാരിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കുക എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു പ്ലാൻ ആണ് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ അദ്ദേഹം ഇന്ന് പോയിന്റ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള കുറെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള നമ്മൾ എന്തായാലും കൂടുതൽ ചർച്ചകൾക്ക് വിധേയമാക്കും ഞാൻ കൂടുതൽ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് അസോസിയേഷൻ ഐ പേഴ്സണലി താങ്ക് യു I also thanking all the past presidents, vibrant uh, uh, senior members, our former uh, NLA uh, Padeep sir, uh, 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 our mayor. So thank you once again. Thank you very much. Big price for the next time. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.